Hey there, I'm Jack. Today I'm going to show you how I draw a three-quarter view headshot of a canine. First of all, we're going to start with drawing a circle. It doesn't need to be perfect, so don't worry about that. Next, I'm going to draw a line for the perspective of the head and to also guide us in placing the muzzle, the ears, and the eyes. To start drawing the muzzle, I draw a short line in the middle of the head where my perspective lines meet. Then I extend the line diagonally like this for the top of the muzzle. Next, you'll want to make a shape like this and extend it back to the circle to complete the shape of the muzzle. This might take a few tries to get right. Next, I draw the nose. It's like, it's like a triangle with a rounded top. You're probably going to draw this in a different shape depending on what animal you're drawing, but for a canine, like a fox or a wolf, I do it like this. Now, I draw the mouth. Draw a line from the bottom of the nose downwards. The mouth consists of a straightish line, then a line curving downwards towards the right corner of the first line we drew for the muzzle, where the perspective lines meet. The upper half of the jaw is always going to be about double the size of the bottom jaw, so make sure you keep that in mind. But you can change the size of this depending on how you want your character to look. This is just a guide for the smile, so it's not going to be this wide. <laughs> Now you can erase some of the guidelines to clean things up a bit if you want. The guidelines for the eyes are like a semi-oval shape. The corner of the eyes are going to start from the corner of that first line that we drew. I'm just going to complete drawing the smile now. You can draw this however you want, but this is just how I draw it. You can draw it as just like a little line, you can draw it as a circle, you can draw it like this, however you want to do it. Now I'm going to draw the cheeks. I'll add fluff to them later, but for now it'll just be like this. The cheeks are going to be drawn at about the edges of the circle. They don't need to be exactly there, just, just roughly like this. Now I'm just fixing up the eye shape and erasing some unnecessary lines. I'm going to keep the line in the middle of the head just to make sure that I place the ears correctly. Guidelines are very important when it comes to drawing, especially when you're starting out. I use guidelines for everything I draw, so... Don't think that you don't need them. <laughs> They're very helpful. Now I'm going to draw the ears. I find it's helpful to picture them like this. This is just a guideline, so I do this on another layer so that you can lower the opacity and arrange them however you want. The ear is like a curved triangular shape. I wouldn't make it a perfect triangle shape. I would make it curved. You can change the size of the ears depending on what animal you're drawing. Like for a wolf, I would do smaller, like more rounded ears. For a fox, I would make them taller and pointier, like I'm drawing like here. Now I'm just cleaning up the lines and removing any hint of the initial guidelines. And we'll add some fluff on the inside of the ears as well, why not? Now I'm drawing where I want the eyebrows to be. For a hobby expression, the eyebrows will follow the shape of the eyes and be a bit above the eyes. You can lower or raise the eyebrows depending on the expression that you want to show. I'll do a more in-depth tutorial on how to draw fluff, but for now just keep in mind that fur is made of many strands, and it's important not to draw any straight lines when drawing flowing fur. Each strand also doesn't need to be separate from other strands, you can combine them like I'm doing here. I'm just redrawing the cheek line now to make it look nicer. Now that I've drawn the head, I'm going to draw the neck. For this, I like to draw a curved V shape, and then two lines curved inwards for the neck. I like to draw the fluff around that V shape and sometimes on the shoulders. After the neck is done, I will do the eyes. There are many ways to draw eyes depending on what emotion you want to convey. Often the shape of the eyes rely heavily on the shape and placement of the eyebrows, so you're likely going to draw them at the same time. For happy expression, I like to draw them like this. And then I'll add a little line at the corner of the eye for detail. It might take you a few tries to get the eyes to look right, especially when it comes to the irises and pupils. You might also find yourself resizing or redrawing the eyes like I do often. Finally, I'm going to thicken the eyebrows more and add some highlights to the eyes. Experiment with the shapes of the highlights, make it fun. You can do circles, you can do stars, you can do hearts, whatever you want. You can also add multiple highlights. You can do one circle, maybe a smaller circle beside it. I'll probably do a tutorial about eyes later. 
and that's it for my tutorial hopefully this helps you uh share it with people if you want like subscribe uh but anyway if you drew anything from this tutorial you can tweet at me my twitter is in the description and on screen uh i would like to see so anyway see you guys next video bye